because facial nerve schwannomas uh, really can occur anywhere along the facial nerve from the brain stem all the way to the terminal branches of the facial nerve in our face, the disease presentation is very much dictated where, uh, by where it actually grows along the nerve. So in, under the microscope, of course, these, of course, these are all histologically benign schwannomas of the facial nerve. But if the tumor arises at the brain stem, patients are much more likely to have different symptoms such as sensorineural hearing loss compared to if they presented with a neck uh, in the parotid gland or in the neck. It turns out that facial paralysis is much less common when it occurs in the neck, and that's probably because the neck is, has much more distensible tissue and it doesn't become confined or constrained in a small bony area. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.